Bag fuel, baby. Yep, yep. The ESSO. That's you. Everyone sees sounds official. Heineken, live in full effect. Yep. They liking us going back and forth and debating. I don't like that. Why? Because <laughs> people always think that people got problems when they go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And they don't understand, like, a healthy dialogue is key. For some reason, black people think that when we don't see things the same way, it's an argument. Yeah, it is an argument. And that's trash to me. Like, I don't I don't think it got to be a fight. Why we can't you see it your way, I see it my way. You know I what I'm saying? I don't think. The, the back and forth is pretty dope as mm -hmm. long as everyone gets to a smooth understanding. You don't got to agree. You don't got to. I think a lot of times with black people, we really want to force somebody else to see our point of view or we want to be right one trillion percent. There's no hiccup, no misstep in what we're trying to deliver in our message. And that's what happens when you got two passionate locomotives going at each other. No one wants to give it an inch or a ground. Yeah, but we really cool. So things don't go mm -hmm. places that it could go with most people because we really are cool. We really talk. We really do this on the regular, on the telephone, and don't agree and really be trying to hash things out. So we really just bring phone convo to the camera. But even when you look at the comments and stuff like that, when it's being read like, yo, y'all back and forth, where y'all really don't, don't agree, why would we do a show when we agree on everything, that makes no sense to me I just as, think as well. They're so used to seeing the Skip and Shannon, um, Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith mm -hmm. format. And now it's like, yo, it's two black dudes that we always see hanging around doing business and they, they never agree. agree on anything. And they're going you. at it full speed ahead. And they're just enjoying what they think might be just a great moment of train wrecks where yeah. no one passes away. Well, yeah. I hope y'all really like it like subscribe uh, uh, um, super thanks super thanks oh salute to the people who've been hitting the super thanks i appreciate share you it. share the content comment on it you know what i'm saying do whatever you want to do with it but get the word out if y'all really feeling it that way all right so let's start with this i was about to say space ghost hit us with why is Summer Walker not nominated for a Grammy? You chuckled. She, she got to pay that money. <laughs> she got to pay that money. <laughs> yeah, the Grammys is a monetary thing, too. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? People do fundraising. People donate money. It's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes for the Hold Grammys. Hold on, S.O. The expertise. Yes. You mean to tell me it's not based on talent <laughs> and people voting for you and saying you put out a big body of work, you no, got to roll out the, the budget for the Grammys? The people do vote for you, but the people you spend the budget on. you got <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is voters. It's, it's not like the regular people in the world of voting. No, no they have the not. academy. Mm -hmm. And you be part of that, and you become one of the voters. And they do all types of dinners for the academy where the, where the rapper shows up, where the singer yeah. shows up. Y'all not privy to this. This isn't social media. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they develop things, and that's how you put yourself in front of the right people, and that's how you develop vote, votes. It's campaigning. So when you get nominated, if, if your label really wants you to have that, they start your campaign. It's like running for office. It's like running for <laughs> office. You set your campaign Pain the up. same way that you get a Hollywood star. Some people just get the star and say, oh, well, you're so big and you're dead, so we're going to give you, this, you dead, wanna, yeah. Yeah, this dead award. But if you're, but if you're living... Like how Snoop Dogg in the world, that's why Snoop said, I want to thank myself for myself and all that. Because Snoop had to do campaigning for that. Yeah. Snoop either don don he, he donated money or people donated money on the behalf of Snoop Dogg. And of you course. get that and you get that star. You know what I'm saying? This this, this is a money game. Uh, let's play this devil's advocate. then To the people that really think it's all about musical talent and all of this and all of that. What do you say to them that figure out like, hey, no matter how good I am at this, I still got to go through these hurdles. Is it even worth it knowing that I just got to pass the buck? More well, so. I mean, I mean, if you're in it just to get a Grammy, then get out of it. Because the whole reason that you're in the music business or you're trying to act is you're either chasing your passion, you're chasing your gift, or you're trying to make money. But, but the Grammys, especially with black culture, we have taken the Grammys and put it on a pedestal more than any, any other award show. No, no, listen, listen. When they win the Grammys, they're excited. But you don't, 
And all the black celebrities show up to the Grammys for the most part. But think about all the times we had them BET awards and dudes were no showing all the time. They ain't get paid. Oh, you got to pay. Hey, why, yo, <laughs> what do y'all oh, don't understand? Bad, so, it's not for the culture. I don't know. My bad, my nigga. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm yo, ignorant. I'm really lost <laughs> at the fact of people <laughs> saying, "Well, why is this going on?" Why you have to pay? So hold on. The BT, Grammys paid Jay Z to show up. Everybody but... gets paid, bro. Woo! What y'all? What, what don't you understand? So y'all think that Beyonce doesn't show up for BET because it's BET? BT got to cut her the check okay. because when because when Beyonce when they say Beyonce the ratings is through the roof. You got commercials. Talk about you it. You got people that want to be oh B's there oh she's crossover. We're gonna run Thai commercials. Mm -hmm. We're gonna run this commercial. We're gonna run these cigarette commercials. We're gonna run all these high end commercials because Beyonce is gonna be there. What about from the common man's perspective, uh -huh. what about doing it for the culture and uplifting these platforms and these networks because we're all black and we're all together? Okay, but everything isn't going to be doing it for the culture. Some mm. of these things are for these people for themselves. Of course. Okay, everything isn't for the culture. Like, for some reason, the, these people that are regulators of what the culture is supposed to be and never actually taking part in it because mm. you buy sneakers and wear hip-hop clothing does not mean that you're a regulator for the culture. Oh my God. That, that does not <laughs> that's a clip. <laughs> that does not mean that. You know so what, what makes you mad? So then what makes you a factor in the hip hop culture? What gives you the right to speak on this culture? You can have the right. Everybody has ha, has the right to speak. I'm not saying that no, you can't course, speak but, on it. But what is the limit to make but, it matter? But, but you're but you're regulating. This is what the, these people are doing. Mm -hmm. They are regulating. Oh well, this should be for the culture, and you should be doing it for the culture. What are you doing? You're driving a bus. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me what I should be doing for the culture, and this is how I make my money. That's the whole part that people are getting this twisted. This is a culture, but this is a business too. Mm -hmm. So when you're just thinking about a culture, what, what you going to do for the culture now, if I'm running around here, like you say about rappers, right, you 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 have a theory or you feel like from the people that have told you mm -hmm. that if a rapper even says that they work a regular job, the culture is going to look at them funny. Mm -hmm. All right. That's not hip hop culture then. Because the culture is about the lifestyle, what you're doing, the break dancing, what you're bringing to the game. If I'm working at McDonald's and I rap good, right, I'm a part of the culture. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> the, the the rhymes have been extremely exaggerated. And when, when, when we speak to the other guests coming through, we're going to talk about that. The I'm in the Bentley and the this and that and the third. When I had my regular job. And Beamer, Benz, and Bentley was out. Mm -hmm. Real shit. I lived 90% of that song. Mm -hmm. I was only missing one component, which I just got. <laughs> but still, I can talk about that. You feel me? But when I see people saying, yo, I work at McDonald's and they're talking about moving bricks and all of this and all of that. And it's all about being authentic. It's all about really living these rhymes. It's all about writing from your experience. How can I take you seriously if you flipping burgers, but you have the creativity to tell me about this because extravagant lifestyle you're not because living? That's could, not cultural. To because me. I could be like Nas. Nas is a cultural icon that has said he was not a drug dealer. He was not killing nobody. But and... and Listen, yes, he did win the girl. Yeah, but listen, <laughs> for a long pay. time, he yo, listen, <laughs> yo, let me just Go get to it. my point. All right, I'm, get to I'm, your I'm, point. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna address that too. Ooh, the Nas up. is known as being the person who said, "I watched out the window," and I'm telling the story of what I'm seeing everybody else. That's doing. the difference. See, Nas, mm -hmm. it grew up in that street element, and he's telling the hood version of what he's encountering. He never said it was him doing it. Okay. Versus a dude at McDonald's saying, I'm doing it. But he could That's said, a big difference. But Yeah, we're going back to the yeah, Grammys. Yeah, but we're going back. But my 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 point of that is mm -hmm. is that he could. He doesn't have to say I sold the bricks or I bought the bricks. He could be talking about his story on his way to work. What he saw going to McDonald's. He saw Nas rhyming on the corner. He saw fucking ghosts flipping bricks. He saw niggas getting shot. That all happened. Niggas get shot in the McDonald's. Niggas lived the thug life. Look at what happened. God, God bless the dead PNB Rock. Somebody could have been in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and they living the thug life, but they was really trying to get money. I just know 
in this culture, before we get back to the Grammys, when these people are talking about this is what I'm going through and what I'm living and when it's shown that it's not that, there's a an air of sadness of, oh, wow, I thought he was really that dude or really that deal. But you mean to tell me you was doing this the whole time? And that's only, I, and I want to I want to tell you the truth. I agree with you. That shouldn't be the issue. You should let people be creative. I don't even care if you don't even write your own rhymes. Put out great music. But in this culture, we have to have all these rules and regulations on how people should do shit. But why did Nas win that Grammy, though? Did he pay? He probably, they probably did some fundraising, <laughs> some money that was going on. Because it's a, it like, Grammys come when the time is right. Meaning? The time was right for Nas. It was right out of Corona. The substance of hip hop is low. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He had a young nigga like Hit Boy, Hit Boy. producing. It's a good melting pot. Nas is I, I, Nas Icon. is 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 loved by a lot of people. So when you come out and you give them a body of work from a from a, a, a icon that's like you, you only got J, Nas, M. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's gonna drop a record. We we we, we feel that like biggest top five. Cool. Mm -hmm. Big can't drop a record. We feel like Jada's top five, but Jada's not gonna have the impact of Nas or Jay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because he didn't have the commercial success that they did. I, I, I think to your point, the timing was absolutely magnificent because there was a time Nas wasn't dropping music, but he was always in the news because of all these amazing ring ring app yeah. and all that stuff, all the making, business making all that deals. money. And that elevated his status, in, in my opinion, because we were like, yo, we never thought Nas was this great business person or had great business people around him because we just went back and forth about being smart and having the right people. Yeah, but Nas, he, is, Nas is the epitome of that because he they told a story about the young white dude said, yo, he went to the show, give me $5,000. Let me show you what this five grand going to do. And Nas gave him 5000 from a show. That's how he got started. It wasn't because he was like, oh, I want to invest. I'm smart. I I'm a rapper. He had this kid around him, and he said, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take a shot. He, what, he saw something in what him. Can, no, listen. A white dude standing in front of me right now that we can verify is making money on stocks and bonds or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give him $5,000. Why? Because I'm going to take. That's a chance that I'm going to but take what, if what I know you, his background. Why are you able to identify? To no, take you that know chance? his background. I'm not identifying. You see, you 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 seem to think that people come and you be like, "Yo, he he's smart." No, nah, nigga. No, but it's not. It's, it's not. It's, you're, you're thinking inaccurate. I'm giving you the credit of because if, there are people that have that money and won't know how to pull that trigger. I'm trying to understand why you're able to see that and pull that trigger. Because $5,000 ain't no money. That's you why. No, no, no. But this is what I'm trying to explain to you. To somebody else, when you look at my father, my father's going to be like, $5,000. I don't know if I'm going to risk it. I look at $5,000 like, that's no money. If I got a chance to take $5,000 and make a grip, you damn right I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm going so to try to do it. So the risk overrides. There ain't no, no for no, five thousand in my mind, in my in in in, in my world. Mm -hmm. Even if I have ten thousand dollars to my name, mm -hmm. if I have seventy five hundred to my name, because people out here gonna think I got thousand, hundred thousand. No, if I have seventy five hundred dollars to my name, and Ghost I know is a smart guy and he's making money and he is taking a likeness to me, I'm going to take that chance to make money. You're a you gambler. Have, you nah. You have to. Yes. It's not. It's not about gambling. Yo, gambling is if I don't know him at all, and if I pick him up off the street and say you're just a white kid and I'm going to give you this money, that's not gambling. And you're making an investment on him. That's what it you're is. making an investment on on you're, yourself on, and him. You're making an investment on yourself. That's what people are missing. When you're giving the money to that dude, the investment is for yourself. Now, if you choose not to do the homework on this guy to even know if he invests money, does he invest money? Yes. Is he into me? Yes. Am I seeing what he's doing? Yeah. Why am I not going to take a gamble and say, yo, this is what I'm going to do. Listen to the key word, the gamble. This is what I, I got you. This is what I'm going to do with my money for myself. Mm -hmm. The same way when we went to that lady, to home, 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 homeboy, yeah, yeah. and she said 20, 25,000. Mm -hmm. I called her with my 25,000. 
I talked to my wife and said, yo, we got 40 something thousand dollars, but if this if this is right and Smith's been involved in it and Smith's making money and I verified it with Smith, why am I not going to give this woman twenty five thousand dollars to make a hundred thousand dollars to make five, seven, eight thousand dollars monthly back mm. when people got money like you get money to make it work for you. I know, of course. A lot of people, that's not what they're thinking. They're making money to pay bills and spend it because that's the natural American. That's the average American. No, it's, black American. No, no, no. White Americans too. White Americans the, 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 is, the, is, is saving money the, and investing middle, money. No, no. Yeah, because the blacks are at a loss. Right? Yeah. We, you, you, I didn't say why. Hold we on. didn't say why. So not, you, you so think, you're making excuses. No, no, we're not no, talking no. about why. The, we're not we, talking we, about we why. We got all these people in trailer parks and all these other white people. It's The middle class is all struggling just to keep up with the standard upkeep of life. When I'm talking to you, you always be like, that don't make no sense. I'm, we're talking about the 85%. We sit there, go to these bars in all these little towns, Iowa and Minnesota. They're doing the same thing. It's Friday night. I'm going to go to the bar, get drunk. That's the standard American life. Uh, that's, a, that's a great way to think about that, right? But, you, but, it's a but listen, you and I both know, and I don't know ghost people as well as I know you. I know plenty of people that have $25,000 and are scared to spend it. Yeah, and, they, and they're middle class, and that and that's the difference because why you're they, but, like, but why are they scared? To you're spend it? you're talking on this camera as if middle class people don't have money. You know the difference between middle class people and next class people. Middle class people are afraid. That's the, the difference. But what, they the, are afraid. The you know what middle class people will will do? They'll take a hundred dollars out their paycheck or two hundred dollars out their paycheck and play lotto. Which is the odds is fucking terrible. Yeah. So they'll spend. Four, Why eight, are they playing that? Yo, yo. They'll spend eight hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. on Lotto. But I'm telling niggas, save your eight hundred dollars a month, save it to five thousand dollars, and invest it with somebody who invests money. You know why? And that doesn't make sense. It's, it's, see, that's why we go back. When you say middle class people got twenty five thousand, what's considered middle class to you? What's the average middle class? Middle class to me is between seventy five thousand nah, and one hundred twenty five thousand. No, bro. <laughs> wow, you see, that ain't middle class. That's why I tell you how you look at yourself. Wait, wait. What's middle class then? Tell me. Fifty. Yeah. Fifty thousand can't be middle class. Yes, that's the standard middle class in America. Yes. Google that. We don't have to. Go Yo, please Google it. All middle right. class wages. You said. So, do you know? Because I mean, people are making minimum wage twenty dollars an hour now. That's nothing. That's minimum wage. That's lower class. That's nothing. That's lower class. Do you know what that average out to after 40? Tell me what the minimum household. All right. I'm still there then. I'm still there. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm there. I said 75 to 100. He said 43 to 130. I said 75 to 125. I'm there. Middle so, class. So, thank you. So the <laughs> so the minimum. Thank you. So so the so you think people that make forty three thousand dollars has twenty five thousand dollars? This is oh, not. No 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 no. You said I know middle class. Hold on hold on. You said I know middle class people with twenty five thousand dollars. Yo bro, please with the encapsulated stuff. Don't go. Wait, time out. Hold on. Don't go. Wait, hold on. Don't go. Wait, 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 time out. New York City, sixty seven. Uh, okay. okay, cool. That's still closer to what I said than y'all said. And, 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 and be easy. You're taking the lower number. So, so instead of you saying, "Oh, well, do the people with a hundred and thirty thousand have it?" Yeah, they do. Yeah. Do, do. Do the people with a hundred seventy five thousand? Yeah, they do. They say he said between forty three and one twenty nine. Okay. So you you chose to just go to forty three. Nah, we're not going because to forty three. More people the, at forty three nah, than hundred. We don't 100. know that. We don't. Yeah, yo, go, we don't. go look it up. Yo, bro, that's not what the. That's go, not. Yo, bro, on. you're making chill, stuff chill. up. I'm not making it that's up. That's not what he just hold said. On. If the average, okay. 10% of people in this country make over 100K. So that means 90% is going to be closer to which number? What are we talking about here? Hein, what you're saying makes no sense. Hold you, on, if, you can't, Hein, Heineken, you cannot gauge. For, why, the average household debt is 90%. Okay, what that got to do with what I'm saying? Wow, you're cutting the income in half. <laughs> there you go. Okay. The app, so the let average is ninety six thousand in debt. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. In America, let me let me ask y'all a question. All right. Are we talking about household? Because which is it? 
Okay, so household is not per person then. Household is when you put the, the, the male and the female and the working kids in the house together and combine it. So then that means, so yeah, hold on, that means you still have a loss because now you're taking 96000 and another, so they're under 200000 Who's under 200000 If he says... Okay, listen, this is what I'm saying to y'all. Y'all act like when people save money and I'm telling you that you have this money and you got to save it, it's not going to go down in one month or, or two months. It goes over time. So with me saying I got $50,000, I got $100,000, I'm spending $5,000, this didn't go on last week. So if, if, if you're making your $95,000 and you're saving your money and you really want to get out debt, then you're not going to go pay lotto. You're not going to go buy bags. You know what you're going to do? You're going to take your money and you're going to invest but do you your know money. Why they're doing That's that? That's what you're going to do. You do you know why they're doing that? And I said this from the last show. They're working. And especially if you're making that level of money, 100 k you're not working 40 hours. You're working 70 hours. That's not true no. with everybody. That's not true. And this is what I'm saying. It's not about the money. It's about the. It's not that they don't have the money to do these I'm things. I'm telling you, because what they're the doing. Credit system, they don't know that they, if you just not pay and settle out, if you get. You, people are got people have gotten PPP loans. And then what happened? And though? blew the money. Yeah. When they could have taken the standard you're American. Saying, yeah, but that's all right. If we're trying to be better. <laughs> Yes. This is the point. This is the point. This is why you're saying stuff, but it's not adding up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not. We're not sitting here saying what the standard American is or is not going to do. What we're talking about is what you can do with the money, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying what I would do with my money, and I'm saying if I have $7,500 and I know somebody that can help make me money, I'm going for it. I'm telling you this is a mentality because even when we're talking about $130,000 and $95,000 in debt, they're not taking, they're not paying the $95,000 in debt. They're making, Let me show you something. They're making minimum wage. They're, they're, they're making mm -hmm. minimum payments, nigga. Yes. That's right. what they let do. Me, let me, not because they should, but that's their ignorance. No, that's not because they no, don't no, have no. the money. Hold on. Can, can they we, don't have the money. Can we do this? When you used to say you would go out to eat four times a week, right? Yes. Why? Because I could afford it. Thank That's you. why. Now, let me show you something. There are motherfuckers who can't afford it, and they still do it. I know. But, 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 but no, no. But why <laughs> did you keep going out to eat, though? Fuck the money. Why? Oh, no, no, no. Listen to where I'm going. Why were you going out to eat? Because I was tired. Tired of, of doing what? Of cooking. Oh, so then you would go out to eat and spend more money. Yeah, because I'm working. You're working? Yes. And you can afford it, though, but you're going out to eat four or five times a week. The average Say person, it again, yes. So, that, that, but, so, yeah. so you don't like going out to eat, then? You just did it because you didn't want to cook. Yes, most of the time because I don't want to cook. Yes, so, that's so why now, I'll go out four to five times. If I'm going to enjoy a meal, I might do that once or twice because I'm going to a... a, a a, um, a specific place. If I'm eating out, it doesn't have to be a, a restaurant. I could be picking up from a Spanish spot. I could be picking up from a Chinese food, uh, uh, a Chinese food spot. It's yeah. just I'm not cooking. But that doesn't mean I'm spending child's money on every dinner that I have. No, of course. The av if, if you average it out just based on inflation, that's 40 to 50 right there, give or take. If you're picking up food for other people, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So four or five times, that's 250, give or take taxes there are people that's blowing that just on two dinners on the weekend because they want to go out and enjoy themselves want to live this life because this shit is stressful see the factor i'm putting in is the stress that's why they go play lotto because they think oh the home run and it's fake safe which is stupid because you're nickel and diming the same five thousand but when a person thinks, I lost 5000 in one shot, it's way more harder for them to digest that than a nickel and dime little $40, $50 for a fake so lotto. We, so we it's, it's a stupid mentality. So are we discussing their mentality? Yes, or, the mentality. Or, or if they have the money, because I, thought, because I thought when we first started talking, we were talking about that because they have this low amount of wage, they don't have the money. Most which of them we don't. Already know, which we already know if we're doing scientific studies, that's not true because black people are the poorest people people and they have the biggest spending power they spend more money than they even have so if you can get money off a of credit and buy bags you know what else you can do of the same way i get money off my credit card you can get cash too 
and you can go invest in your and get, cash. And guess what? Guess what? Go <laughs> said five minutes ago. That's why they're ninety six thousand dollars in debt. So get when you're in that debt, you don't have no money. So we're not talking about. Listen, this is where we got it fucked up. We're saying people with the money can't do it. Now y'all are factoring their bad spending. It's all. It, but, all right, but, see, all right, but when you're talking, talking when you're talking like, about, okay, we're talking about, we're talking about ability, though. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about the same way that you go and spend $200 a week or lotto, yeah. right? You could take five months and save your money and have $4,000 mm -hmm. and invest it the same way. In the same way. For the whole for yeah. the month. <laughs> But yeah. I, no, no, I can't. But you choose not you to. You know why I can't cook? Because I don't have time. You don't have time. Oh, I'm thank out, you. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out thank working. Thank you. That's they what I've been telling you. They got time to what? You. To spend money, to blow money on bags and stuff and play lotto? my money for my college debt. Like, that's what they're doing. You, the average person. I went to college. Yeah, and how did you pay your debt off? <laughs> no, I no. worked. No, no, no. No, you didn't. Don't. I tell them, tell I them how you. Hold on. Ghost. I worked. Yeah, ghost. <laughs> The average person, when they when they have student <laughs> loan debts, do they pay it before they're 30 or after 30? Thank you. No, no, we can look it up. Thank you. Yeah, because you... I pay, I pay my student loan debt faster than most people. Why? Did, 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 why? You, did, did you have payments? Do you know why? But do you know why? Because before I even started on this journey, that's what I wanted to do. That was my set forth plan. I didn't want to... See, see... But you're not I, telling see, them look, how look, you paid I didn't it, get into the music business... To buy cars or to mess with girls. I didn't do that, right? I got into the music business to take care of myself because I knew I wanted to live a better life. So I chose to go work for it. Now, even within that time, for seven years, eight years, being in the studio with Rock Wild and everybody, I never took a vacation. Mm -hmm. I never went away. I was in the studio at least six days out the week, no matter where I went. I didn't do nothing. I wasn't making the money everybody else was making. But you know what I did? I planned, I saved, and I invested into myself. I wasn't making what Rock Wilder was making. When I got with Rock Wilder, I was getting 10%. 10%. Yeah, but listen to this. See, okay? It's all relative. Your 10%. Is the equivalent of three hundred percent? No, it was not three hundred thousand. No, when I first got with Rock, you see, when you tell, when I'm telling you, I wasn't getting ten percent of a million was a hundred thousand. Yes, nigga, listen, that's ridiculous. When I first got, Y'all not nigga. First of, all, first of 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 all, y'all not, y'all not, yo bro, y'all not, yo 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 bro, y'all don't understand because y'all think it because yo first of all, first of all, first of all, I wasn't getting a million dollars when I first got with Rock Wilder. I didn't. No, he didn't get a million dollars when I first got. I didn't land with Rock Wilder and niggas was just throwing me money, nigga. That's not how this shit occurred. Yo, this is a guy that talking about. Listen. This is a what guy. This is about? a guy that said, "Yo, I would come here. I had checks for thirty thousand for myself, twenty thousand here, ten thousand there." Thousand yes, that was just... after. That was after I built myself up. That's after but I still, did. That's but, after. But, I, it's not. But still, listen. Everybody it, wants to skip to the end. No, we're not skipping because what you're not telling people. This is a guy at 27, 28 years old that's making the portfolio of a fifty-year-old. See, that's what you're not getting. You are a supreme earner. You caught it. So when you're sitting here like, yeah, I caught 30, 40,000, and people are like, wow, you're like, that ain't no real money. Why do you think people are looking at you like, wow? Every time you talk money, aside from the music industry people and the get money dudes, they all say, wow. And you're like, yo, Heineken, why they saying niggas wow? Niggas can't think money. Yo, niggas make $100,000 a year in fucking New York and broke with roommates. So you can't yes. think. All right. Be so y'all can't think $100,000 is money. You cannot survive. One check for doing one job. I never said I got that off of one check when I managed right. I never said that. That's ad libbing. That's 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 after that's after people have worked. What we're talking about is when I had my money. All right, I'm, and I'm gonna just say this. I don't like talking about my wife. Right, my wife makes way more money than me. Mm -hmm. Right, she don't have more money saved than me. She mm -hmm. don't. Period. Mm -hmm. No day, no day, it, it'll get to the point that we'll be sharing money. And I'll be like, what the fuck am I sharing money with a nigga who makes $20,000, $30,000 a month? Okay? 
So it doesn't. So she's not doing what she, what she wants to. She she she's not doing with her money what I would be doing with it. Mm -hmm. So my seventy thousand dollars, my hundred thousand dollars will be better balanced and better spent than hers. That doesn't mean oh, cause I got seventy thousand dollars, I'm middle class. I can't I can't invest in myself. No, dog. You do what you do what you want to do with your money. If you choose to go run your bills up, people, and then you got a credit card bill of thirty thousand dollars and you're making seventy thousand dollars you lost sorry you know what i'm saying if you want to spend your money on that that's what's gonna occur if you want to eat eat, eat 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 out and you can't afford chows you're gonna be broke you know what i'm saying live within your means save your money and reinvest do you think the average person can just make ten thirty thousand busting here and there having them come to them no i don't i don't, I don't no no no, 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 no I, I don't do that no, no, so no, i don't no, know what they're no, doing you've done it multiple times do you think the average person, the average American, is doing that on scale? Just one time. I don't know what they're no. doing. I don't know what they're doing. If, if I put a... I don't know what they're no, doing no, no, because no, no, I'm around no, no, a lot no, listen, of people. Listen, listen, you're a gambler. So let's gamble here. If you had a, a gambling table and they say put the odds on, what you think? The average American can bust a ten thirty thousand dollars $30,000 check or they're not? Which odds you taking? I you think they can. You lost. But I, I, you I think lost. they can. I respect your answer. I, I think they can't. But I'm you not, gonna lose. Yo, yo, I'm not going to lose. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Every working class motherfucker I know got 10000 Everyone. Even my cheap ass father. <laughs> um, yo, ghost. <laughs> ghost. He just, no, he just said 10000 <laughs> He just said ten to thirty thousand. He said ten. He said, "Can they bust a ten to thirty thousand dollar check?" I said, "Yes." Every Dude, every I'm American, American can do that. I'm asking you a question. Every American can do that. Question. Every ghost. American I'm can do that. I'm asking a question, Ghost. Every do you, American. Do you have ten thousand dollars? No. You have ten thousand dollars saved. No. He lying, yo. He so lied. I, I, that ain't so, what I asked you. No, that's not what I asked so you. So you think? Hold on. No, that's no, not what I asked you. Do you have ten thousand dollars? Do you have it? I Do yes. Do you, you have ten thousand dollars? Do you have it? Sure. All right then. So you All think, right hold then. On, hold on. Are you gonna take five thousand and spend it with a nigga? No, All right then. Let me ask you so that I will. No. That's All right, the difference. All right, right, cool. Yo, cool. So you think the person that works at McDonald's getting twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars an hour can get a ten thousand dollar check? Yeah, you goddamn right. They can get a ten thousand dollar check. Wow. Cause why do you think the same way the 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 the, the, the same way that you just told me goes? How many jobs you say you working? All right then, that's the point. Oh, so they that, go, they're doing above. That's the hold point. On. They're doing above average shit. No, Which, they're not doing above average shit. When you're poor, right? When you're poor, mm -hmm. okay, this is regular shit, and you don't make enough money. What what do you do? Cause since you're the question asker, you're poor, you don't make enough money. What do you do? You try to go make more money. You go get another job, no, and, and or then, you go make more money. Thank you. That's no, what you no, do. No, 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 you do no, 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 no. So I, I've <laughs> you worked. You can't just stay at McDonald's. No, no, no. I've worked with people okay. who work two jobs. It ain't what you think, because you can't work forty on both because you don't, you won't have time. So you're really essentially working twenty two and twenty two maybe 30 and 30 with no overtime. So you're actually killing yourself to be an idiot. Real shit. I've seen this shit. I'm like, so you're working 35 hours here, 35 hours there. Your job is an hour apart. And then you only work in three days here and four days there. You might as well just spend 10 hours at one job. Okay, now are y'all real, real okay, okay, are, are done with just talking about money and act and like and, 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 and act like it gets spent? You know what you do when you do that? There's an end to the be all. There's an end coming. You're not just saying I'm gonna work sixty hours for the rest of my life. If you're not making enough money, you work the thirty that you've been barely making, and the other twenty or thirty you start saving it that's and not, doing that's something not, with it. That, you're in Dead. That that's, that's what we're trying to tell and you. This and this other check and this other it don't check, matter. And this other check that you're trying to get is not it's getting you. It's not for getting it. you. <laughs> Yo, you re he really thinks nobody's paying bills, and this is a nigga that pays bills. I've watched him pay massive bills. This is you're just good. You don't factor into the point. You're really good at what you do <clears> when it comes to how you manage money. Because if not, there would be no such thing as a money manager. The average person can't manage money. You've seen it. You've just been blessed and fortunate to be able to do it at a large scale. Let's just give you the credit for that. 
point blank DN. The average person is sitting there sunken by credit cards. They want to go on fake vacations, ride ATVs. They want to go to the bar. He's making do, my point. No, but even though. He's making my point. But you know why? He says it. That's why Ghost can't say nothing. He, de he denies no, 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 me. No, he listen to me. me listen and I to let me. Him talk and he makes listen, my point. You go, you go on a vacation. When I met you, you went on a vacation every month, right? Yes. Well, no, why? Because I wanted to. No, you wanted to? You wanted to just go on vacation. Yes, I love the vacation. I love the beach. So you like spending your money to go to the beach. To go to the beach when you could go to Jones Beach. Never. No, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't go to Jones. What are you talking no, 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 about? You don't... can't go to Jones Beach. Jones Beach is dirty. No, I understand. Dirty you... people go to beaches Jones... in New York, yes. just in case y'all know. Dirty ones. Now, listen to that. You're spending your money to enjoy yourself. They enjoy the luxuries. You're just fortunate that you know how to spend your money. There are people who are spending their luxuries because that shit is fucked up in their head. They want to go wherever, go to Chow's, which is ridiculous to me if you're working a regular job. They want to go to the Dominican Republic and do all this funky fly shit you would say. Mm -hmm. And that's the issue. So now it's like, do I still live the comforts of enjoying my life? What did you say last show? Whenever we bust a check, sometimes we go out to eat. We spend some of it. Have fun. Camaraderie. You know, let's not stick the money in our pockets mm -hmm. so much, right? That's no different than a person that worked 80 hours and is like, yo, my hard-earned money, let me go spend it. They just don't have it coming in like how we got it coming in. Yo, bro, we talking about two after you get two or three checks and you spend $80 on a meal apiece. That we're not, that's no money. Yo, that, but how our money come he in? Just, no, no. The man just said we have to move on because the man just said people don't have the money. People don't got the money. And I want to say this, but then he's going to tell me how they're going to go buy bags and go on trips yes, and all. Yeah. That means they have the money and they're choosing to they're spend in debt. it. And they say, if you can go in debt, why do y'all keep saying that? Because the same way, because the same way, because, because you can take money off of your credit card. So instead of going on a trip, Is it? If you're not paying this and you're paying a minimum payment, it doesn't matter. Come on. You're talking to a nigga that does accounting. Come on. It doesn't matter. You're paying the minimum. So why would you not take the money off to do something with it? Because their mind's not there. It's not that they don't have the money. You're not thinking about it. It's called financial literacy. What you're doing is not making sense. You're spending it on minks and trips mm -hmm. and bags yeah. and dinners. And then when you need it for something real, you're saying, I don't got it. I'm in debt. Yeah. That doesn't make That's sense. Why I Thank you. That's it. The, but the average person is spending their money. Just like how you like to say, I spends my money. I, I don't say, know about- I save it too. But your number one thing, I ain't afraid to spend I'm it. I'm not. The, the, the difference between you and them, you know how to keep making more of it. No. The difference between me and them is that they're spending it on bags and shit they can't afford. But you what can so, and you I don't buy, buy them shit. I don't buy nothing <laughs> I can't afford. Nigga! <laughs> nothing. If I can't afford it, I don't buy it. Right. If I buy a $4,000 Louis bag, I'm paying it off within a month because the money's coming. If I don't have it, I'm not buying Average it. Average person ain't got $4,000 coming it. fast. And, they should, and if they don't have $4,000, they shouldn't buy it. That's the key. Go get a Toomey bag. They just as good. They five hundred dollars and they not four thousand. Pop off. Now that's a financial advice on how to stunt and still keep your money good. Bag few E S S O. I know we went roundabout, but he just killed it with that one. Yo, LeBron James. Let's close it out with this. Yeah, we already know this dude. We're talk about LeBron no, no, James. No, no, no. Let's let's talk business. You mm -hmm. feel like he needs to retire? No, I feel like he should have re not needs to. Oh, he should let's, have retired. Let's talk about if you're gonna talk no, about no, it. No, no, just I okay. said after he won that championship in the bubble, he yeah. should have just retired. Why? Because he would have been on top of the world. The same reason why I said when Brady left Belichick and won that ring with Tampa Bay, there was no other way to ride off into the sunset than with a championship, and I'm out. Now, imagine if Brady was not playing no more, and Belichick and them were still doing what they doing. There would be nothing to talk about. I got seven rings. You can't win without me. I'm out of here. But why not go for more rings? For me, you, yeah. I'm a legacy person. Mm -hmm. They're rich already, rich beyond their belief. I they're agree. Old, they're older 
athletes already. If they were younger, cool. LeBron's body's been breaking down. Mm -hmm. I like. I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, but I I do respect LeBron and what he brings to the table. All right, and it bothers me watching him being hurt. Mm -hmm. It bothers me because at least if I know Bronny's out here, I want to see Bronny playing. Yeah. I don't want to see him going out hurt. I don't want to see him not making the playoffs with AD three years and all that. That's trashy to so, me. So, so based on your format, then should Kevin Durant retire? He's been injured. He hasn't been leading his team to, to victories and championships. We're, we're scaling everything here. Kevin Durant uh -oh. is not doing what LeBron is doing. Kevin Durant played last year. We knew when KD signed with the Nets, he was hurt already. We mm -hmm. knew that. That wasn't the same situation with LeBron. LeBron came there, the, the Mack truck who never gets hurt, blah, blah, blah. Now he's getting hurt. You're, you're going based upon the conversation we had long before. No, no, but listen, we're going based on what your, the criteria is. He should have been done right off on the sunset. Ain't no different than any other player. That's not true. What you're saying is not true. No, no, you just said that after he won the championship, he should have rolled off, right? Yes. Based on what? Based upon he was older, he was getting hurt, but and he accomplished no, he, his goal. No, son. in that season, he played it in all, the bubble, and he got hurt in the he got hurt before the bubble and came back. He was hurt, and he won. That, and that no, was the reason why I said, but that that's on, a, that's a factor. Same thing with KD. Even though he came back from injuries, he was getting hurt. He wasn't playing a lot of games. It was him and Kyrie had missed a lot of games since he's been in Brooklyn. What have they done? A one first round win? If KD would have won a championship last year and him being hurt, you know what I would have said? He should just go off into the sunset. What? KD still got stuff to prove. KD got more to prove than LeBron James does. LeBron but you, but James has LeBron James has four rings. He bought back the Cavs twice. Mm -hmm. All right. Look, KD can't say he bought nobody back. You follow what I'm saying? He, KD got his two rings with Stefan in them. They just won a ring. They just won a ring without him. He got stuff to prove. He's not on LeBron James' level as far as not having things to prove and being on top of this game and being endorsed as the number one player in the face of the league. So now we just spoke on another subject of who are people to determine the criteria. Pardon me if I'm paraphrasing the words of how a person should deal in the music industry and, and everything. So where are you going to determine how he should go out? Because if based on what you're telling me, Chris Paul needs to retire. Kawhi Leonard needs to retire. Chris Paul has stuff to prove still. No, uh, 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 uh. What's a, who, what makes, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So then what makes you the determinative factor that LeBron has nothing to prove? Like, how you don't? He okay. might have, in his bro, heart, bro. he might have something still uh, yo, to prove. In your mind, but we're talking about reality. Chris Paul don't have a ring. I'm not trying to just, just make a point. Chris Paul doesn't have a ring. Okay. He, he's not even in LeBron's class. That, that, there you go. That's why he got to still keep playing. All right? He don't have no accolades to say, I did this. He, he needed that ring. It's the difference between Stockton and fucking Carl Malone. They're fading out right now. People ain't saying the same thing about Stockton. People ain't saying the same thing about Carl. They don't have the hardware. They haven't accomplished what they needed to accomplish. So now, so, so sitting here watching Chris Paul get injured, not playing games, and just struggling to get a ring is a whole lot better than a dude who's won four rings, Getting injured, but he still puts up way better numbers than the average dude. That don't make no, no sense. No, I no. Do I think you asked me why? I said because Chris Paul has um has something to something prove. Something to prove, but at what at what cost? I gotta take this. Yeah. Yo, are you here? I right, I right, we coming now. We gonna wrap it up. Um. I, I, I feel like, I, hey. think, I think that Chris Paul still got something to prove, and that's why he's playing. If Chris Paul would have had a ring by now, if he would have caught one, it would be no reason for him to keep coming back. Hey, and, if you could and, still and perform, it. I know this. the NBA has shifted. It's young goats running around, killing it. If LeBron can still perform well and still be able to be a contributing factor of winning teams, go for it. Otherwise... All these dudes. He can't to. check nobody. Oh, yeah, he can't check nobody. He can't Come on. Check nobody. Yeah, but he can still contribute to winning.